good evening to you and welcome to Chit Chat right here on White Fepo TV, your favorite youth channel. My name is Philin Jean and if you see me here on a Sunday, you know, it's all about gossip, trending topics internationally, globally, locally. That's what I have for you. To, uh, topics that have been making uh, rounds, uh, rounds across social media throughout the week. We do a roundup of those stories. My name is Philin Jean and let's meet the gang gang right here on in studio. They're not new to the show you know who they are they've been here many times before so i'm gonna start with the person who's closest to me honest bantu what's up what's up honest <laughs> bantu <laughs> is my name here what you chelsea say like it doesn't surprise <laughs> the many <laughs> <laughs> the only thing is our biggest i was to can you we don't care yeah. <laughs> you know, welcome to the show how are you doing we are fine you had a good week yeah i had a good week 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 niko fine niko poa nimeshukuru manze lakini mambo ya ball tumeacha mambo ya ball tumeacha no problem i said nali eh Anyway, uh, moving on. Uh, <laughs> let's, meet, let's meet Ronald Royce. He is our rapper right here in studio. And Yo. not only that, he's, only, he's also a tech head. What did he do? <laughs> what did he do? What did he do? What did he do? What's up, what's up, my people? I go by the name Ronald with Royce. And as usual, Mazel on Sunday. So don't go nowhere because we're about to give you that thing. Mm -hmm. Yes. Ni wakati? Sasa mm -hmm. ni wakati wakachai. Kama sasa, na vile Dennis Wisema the room is officially oh, open. Man. Now the hashtag is Chicha. Talk to us on our social media pages. White TV for channel is where you find us, right? Now let's get started right here with our first story. And there's a video that is making rounds on social media uh, of, And uh, of Andre Kibe where he expresses his admiration for singer Nikita Kering's beauty. Now he directly addresses Nikita asking her to consider moving to the US with the possibility of a marriage. Kibe goes on to play Nikita's TikTok videos describing how beautiful she looks as she dances to viral challenges. The video has sparked mixed reactions online with some criticizing Kibe for objectifying Nikita and making inappropriate remarks. We have the video. Let's have a look. Look at her, she wants a man. She desperately needs a man. Sasa, kumbe kibe kan simp. Huh? Ii meenda. Kumbe kibe kan actually simp for someone. Ii meenda. I did not know that, but yeah, shout out to Nikita Kering. But do you guys see any problem in what he said? Because he had a lot to say. Okay, we didn't play the whole video, but he had a lot to say. Uh, in four minutes, he, he, where? He said a lot. But Nikita just turns 20 the other day. Ooh. Andrew Kibe is in his 50s, allegedly, I don't know. But he's, they said he's in his 50s. 50. So, na Nikita na wamefika kambao. Literally, she, her birthday was just the other day. So, what are we thinking? Kwanza hiyo mbao ni uongo. Nyo dewa ni tudanganya hiyo mbao. No, Nikita actually is. Seven months ago, she let you see. You don't remember? Hiyo nyashi si mbao. Hiyo nyashi, hiyo nyashi hika mbao. It's actually 7 p.m. Let's be mindful of a language. Okay, lakini mbao, kuna vitu za mbao. Na yaribu kumanisha. Madem, sunajua wengi uficha miaka. No, but for her, I can actually vouch for Nikita Kering. I remember, if you see her videos with the Emiko's gay, Juicy Dwekio, she was at Brookhouse. 
Nikita the way she is right now hata wewe ukaangalia tu. Mimi tunaweza angalia na Kibe hata mimi. Ala? Mm. Buda Josi jaribu kuheshimu mwanani. The only person mwenye anaweza eka Kibe chini saa hii ni Shakila. Ha? Aha. What do you mean? Yeah. Unajua nani um how is she called? Um Kerin kuna watu wengi bana. Kerin is too soft for Kibe. Kibe is aizani na Kerin. Ah my boy ma gangster hawa anakuambia kuna mtu anawafanyanga soft. Mhm. So hata huyo Kibe maybe huyo Nikita amemweka soft. Lakini venye sasa I can see now let me ask you something. Is it okay to objectify someone mwenye hata kujui hata muongeangi like she probably isn't even like uh probably. See Jizwel sama she was dating Lil Minor who is probably her age. I love to take a Lil Minor Kibe at his age objectifying her like that. Nyinyi I'm just scared. Okay, you probably heard it. But the way he was talking about her in a way that is super objectifying you don't see a problem with that hakuna shida ma boy wengine wako different kuna ma boy wakitaka dem wanaanza na kumtusi unajua kuna ma boy kama hao anakutusi lakini ndani manzi wamekukrashia ni venye wanaona tena hawezi kuja tu kukwambia fili ninakutaka utanibeba wanazo wanaanza kukudis Men are different. Sasa nani amekuja na hiyo nini? And how about okay in objectification i mean uh vile like semedema me crashia aku just say eh honest nyo kifua eh eh sina jo hizo za road that's what i mean so like that's why he he was literally looking at her and talking about that like vile manza stories are oh we're talking about her you know don't don't her, her features but that's what men look for in women the way but she looks like but is it okay like. to speak about it just yeah. like out there like that we are in 21st century in fact 22nd i think there's no problem with that Second tumefika? Yeah, we are almost next year. Same mtu ataka picha yako hapo aanze tu kuongea hivyo uko tu utakuwa tu sawa. Eh, mimi like that. Niko po hapo mimi so street boys. Ah, unaweza ongea. Unajua Anes kitu. Anes. I think I think Anes amekubali ana kifua. Like for me personally, I didn't think that was that that was okay because she first of all she did not ask for that. It, like she did not ask to be put in that like uh, to, to for people to look at her that way like especially for someone like Kibe and then um, akaanza kuongea stories za sex and everything question. like that is just weird <laughs> it is so weird you know when me. you have something ukiwa dem na uko na kitu wewe inabamba watu si ndio hiyo kitu si ndio watu wataongelea like nani ameongelewa mara yes. ngapi vera about body yake <laughs> mm-hmm. ni umoisikia vera amesu mtu kwa sababu ndio anajua hiyo ndio mnaonanga yeah. like hadi mangoma kina mama na hizo amemuimba hata yeah. a, a mind hata anaona ni kama ana market ana maybe kuna mtu alikuwa ajui nikita sasa atamjua juu kibe atamjua juu ya kibe no na hiyo ni njia moja na ame market so no na that's okay for like it's good for nikita because there's no bad lakini kwa nani ameshusha gangster point no but then kwa kibe ameshusha gangster point so even simple but njua mwangalia nikita nikita ame gain so nikita ndiye ame gain lakini eh lakini kwake yeye ameshusha jo kwanza miaka yake jo but then it's and kibe what do you expect from us kibe Like, like for real kibe ni mzae unajua tena vitu vingine havai kuongelea ah <laughs> lakini unajua age is always but a number so i don't know why mna sema si juu na nini 50 na nini 20 age is just but a number yeah, manze, at the end of the day <laughs> kuna zingine si namba manze <laughs> at the end of the day this is and kibe what do you expect <laughs> it doesn't preach anazaliwa una imagine kama mtu yako that is a hindu 
hiyo gap hapana. Ah hiyo gap iko tu sawa. But anyway. Heri ile alimaina atakaa ruga kimba na kishashi. Kishashi. Ndio kama anakuambia unajua Andrew. Teach their own. Andrew Kibe alikuwa anafuata Shakila. That is the only match perfect match for Andrew. There is no way. Andrew na Shakila. Bana. Hiyo nyumba ndio. Wao ndio Andrew akiingilia watu wasema tokeni kwa DM zangu na hey 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 zenyu. Mimi najua ule mtu anataka. Andrew attack Andrew Kibe is taka demo. Ati wao udai Andrew Kibe. Mtu anataka Andrew Kibe ni kwambie na wataishi vizuri. Andrew Kibe will never haezi kubali kama wewe una. Wewe ndio unamdai haiwezi lakini. Nikwambia ule mtu ule mtu anaendana na Andrew Kibe vizuri. Nani? Ako there. Ako there. Ako there vizuri sana. How? Kona yeah. pelekana vizuri because yeah, unajua I actually thought mtasema King Kalala because pia yeye anaanga chill like Kalala King Kalala si unajua ni mwanaume tunaongelea madem sasa wewe unaleta mwanaume dem lakini tunasema madem King Kalala ni mwanaume King Kalala tunasema madem sasa wewe una sasa yeye ni mwanaume aje. Si king. Sasa mwanaume mwana anaitwaje king? king. Ana sikia. Anaitwa yeah. king kwa nini? Queen Kalala is the woman king the movie. Woman. Yeah, yeah that's why it's called woman king. king. Akona reason alikuwa king. Yes, women who like who call, who like that. Elena ta watete. But anyway. Let's move. Let's talk about something else that is actually uh, interesting because we're here for the drama. We love drama. And our influencer, influencer Amber Ray, who recently ended her relationship with Kennedy Rapudo allegedly with whom she is pregnant, has reportedly rekindled her friendship with her ex-lover Jamal Rahosh Safi. Now Jamal who had parted ways with Amber last year due to the drama surrounding Amber and his then wife Amira has gifted her new her, has gifted Amber rather a new white Range Rover after her split from Kennedy. It's worth noting that Jamal recently welcomed a new baby with his current girlfriend. That is actually the, the new girlfriend with Jamal on screen. That is the ex-wife Amira, right? Mm. Now, though despite their past differences, it seems that Amber and Jamal have put their dif uh, their issues behind them and are now back in good times since Jamal has offered her an influencing job at his company so that is jamal and the baby and the new girlfriend her name is wangare and now we have rapudo and ambare ambare is pregnant for kennedy rapudo right mm. so that is the baby shower you happen they reveal i think that is the gender reveal party yeah, 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 yeah. that just happened the other day and now any is story so there is now three people involved there is kennedy rap who who's supposed to be the current but then they just recently split up before kennedy rap who there was jimal right mm -mm. now jimal rahosafi there was also mauzo so here they are i think that is uh jimal nanani now antonani jimal nambari a while back <laughs> so I don't know. Like it's just like and then Confusion. there's this footballer, this Sierra Leone footballer who is also laughing at now the way everything is going. Al Kwazileza. Ha 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 ha. Like Sisa Beata Kennedy Amerudia, you know. So but then it is not confirmed whether they are together. Nivile to lim gift. Vile chana na Kennedy get um Rapuda kam nanya kam gift. Antuna Jumal akalite amba re Range Rover. You know. Hey. This is for my ex. Hi, I know you're pregnant and you need a good car. Here's a Range Rover. Ex. You know. Yeah. <coughs> <laughs> 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 yeah. Ex aqua, make you a Range Rover. But what is the problem with that? Like, you know. See, tu, tunarudi mali tuliachia. Mm. Tunarudi mali tuliachia. Unakuja kuulizana tuliachia wapi? No, no is any retirement benefits? Mhm. Mm -hmm. ah? mm. Retirement benefits. Mshaa ah. chana mtu anaweza rudi achukue kenya achukua tena arudi kwa mali alikuwa sasa arudi aje ndio pregnant for someone else no, no but let me tell you unajua right you know, now I, that is what i'm trying to get like the, um, the, there's a lot of exo kwa anaweza kuja ukiona ball na baada ya kuaccept bado na ball na though yeye yeah, ame welcome to mtoto like less than a month ago haina shida wewe sasa tu unasikizana tu si ni raw unapenda hujapenda ball unapenda raw problem ni mna mna gunduanga amwe ndani unajua at first time kuna zile vitu watu look kwa dem ama kwa boy then mkika pamoja na gundu eh akili zetu azisink. Yeah. Sasa so, mkigundua hivyo si kila mtu anaenda zake. Lakini kama already uko na ball, sio ni kitu itafanya bado tu communicate. So ukirudi unaona demo anaona maybe anaweza rudi tu penye alitoka kwa the other person. Yaani demo sako yake ni ndogo, ananga sako kubwa. Ni Jamal, akitoka kwa Jamal <laughs> kwa Rapudo. Sasa so, ikozana tena na Jamal arudi kwa yani sako yake ni small. Ako tu sawa. Si kama mademu wetu wa ghetto jo akitoka kwa huyu ameenda kwa huyu kwa huyu. Ako tu sawa. Sako yake ni small. Mm -hmm. I think person ni mzuri. Because if you see how Ambarai is trying to juggle around with the heads of these two boys. 
pesa ni mzuri so these two billionaires uh, these two billionaires okay unaona leo huko huko kesho huko huko it makes a lot of confusion paka hata nimeanza kushuku hiyo ball I don't think ni Rapudo. Hata hiyo bole. Na ba Rapudo said ni yake. Unajua ni achana. Dem si Dem ndio anafaa kusema. Yes. Rapudo anajuaje ni yake? What do you mean? Dem ndio anajua. Dem anajua. Eh Rapudo anajuaje ni yake? Hata nashuku unaona hiyo Range Rover. Hiyo Range Rover ilikuja na kitu. Hiyo Range Rover ilikuja na ball. Yes. Ni ni hiyo Range Rover ilikuja na Range Rover. Ah bwana. Range Rover amepewa juzi like last week and she's already heavily pregnant. So how ina maanisha aje? Akiwa kwa Rapudo walikuwa bado wanaonana na Jamal. Chini ya maji. Jamal akampiga dumbo akakuja akafunika boys wetu hapo. Lakini sasa yeye amepewa Range Rover sasa the owner of the ball sasa He is coming back. Eh juu yeye anajuanga ball yake amecheza tu chini. Ni kama tu sasa hii unaona feeling vile. Ngoja, sasa mnataka kusema Rapudo kuna uwezekano Kennedy Rapudo mjali wao wakina Ron kuna vile anaweza kuwa amechezwa hapa kucheza yeye ndani na kabila kucheza unachezwa you keep on kabila by the way unajua Luo men do you know who Luo men are mama mna mnawasikia ngatu unataka kusema alicheza Luo man kuna wanyo wanachezwa na kuna wanyo wanacheza na kuna wanyo unajua kucheza eh na wanyo wanajua kucheza hii yeye ndani na nini unajua ni kama sasa hii unajua the previous leagues Chelsea ndio walikuwa na ball right Saini Arsenal ni Arsenal kwa na ball. Mambo wena tu hivyo tu. Ni hivyo tu mambo ya shida hii haijui ball. Tumekuwa tukishinda lakini sasa tumeshindwa. Arsenal si ndio kwa na league. Sasa hata Rapudo kama mzee hii ball si yako na ni ni Jamal. Wacha tu iende. Acha iende Rosa. Sasa nani imeenda? Naona hata hii hii Range Rover naona tu ni Rapudo. Sasa unajua Rapudo naye anaenda kutafuta nyingine jeep. Ya kupanguza majoni. Ah, but already ako na jeep tena ampatie. Already ako na jeep. Already ako na jeep. Wanaongeza kwa nini? I think na I don't know kwa jeep ni yake ama jamaa. Kama ni KDK watatafuta KDE. Si wana change kuna namba plate code hiyo lakini ataongezwa jeep nyingine. Na tena abisi ndio. Amoni story labda hakuna mtu ameongelea story ya Cloud. Amoni maybe they just cloud chasing so that they all stay relevant. How come hakuna hiyo story? Unajua kuna msanii hapo ndio tuoni Cloud. Hakuna muimba. Basi kila mtu anataka kuwa famous. Waimbaji ndio wana choja na ma cloud lakini hapa sioni jamal sasa kwa cloud aje rapudo yeah, kwa cloud he's a businessman he's a businessman and when his business is out there he he gets more people because you know okay rapudo hakuna kitu ame gift ambaye just kiss jay ona no like a lot and i'm gifting you a lot he, he, he has bought for her a lot uh, uh, he, he has bought for her a lot of things like even well like, yeah. christmas olympia was it that was like 120k ama ilikuwa ni 120k na mtu anakupatia range rover just for hiyo ni fuel hiyo ilikuwa tu for not like for no reason you just wake up and like they're just like 120K. oh i got flowers no Feeling, 120k for no reason there is some weight over here look at the range rover and look mm. at 120k Which one is? Oh, najua jaja mbaya gari nyingine ama labda amembaya nyumba. Ni Jamal tu atatuambia yeye nimebaya lakini the other side I said But you them who them na nakana. Sasa bye bye na sema ngai mko na kipeana ingine 5. So hiya Jamal ikatwe juu kipeana lazima. But you them anaka. Ni anaka ni mjanja juu. Juu kama anapiganiwa hivi. She has a lot to offer. You think hey, so? Yeah. 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 Amare <laughs> has zake pia. Amare uh, also has her money. We spoke yeah. about Amare. Uh, uh, Because my yeye na Vera vile they were like, "Ha, you mm-hmm. don't have money. Ha, mm-hmm. me I have money." Yeah. Mwingine akaambia mwingine wewe kwanza hata utatokwa very soon na ndio yeye ashatokwa. Because hakuna hakuna lazy girl atapiganiwa hivyo. She has a lot to offer. She's a hustler. Mm. In All right, anyway, so we move away from that. I would really love to hear what you guys have to say about that. The hashtag is chitchat. We are on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter as white if I forgot comment below. Let us know what you think about stories we are talking about today. And away from that, we move on to a story that is um rather very disheartening actually now there are shocking videos allegedly recorded by DJ Brown Skin that have uh, have been released by Edgar Obares BNN Telegram page now the videos show Brown Skin's wife uh, drinking poison allegedly in their home while he watches without calling for help or an ambulance the wife later dies and her death is ruled as suicide Kenyans are outraged and calling for Brown Skin's arrest accusing him of encouraging his wife to take poison and failing to act when she was in distress brown skin posted on social media mourning her death but many are questioning the sincerity of his grief
uh, I think this is uh, she died last year. So this should be her mm. birthday this year, right? Mm. And he was like, "Happy birthday, love." You know how people are. Like even even after someone is passed, they're like, um, but they still go revisit. Like yeah, they check. This is 14 weeks ago. So I can wish happy birthday on his Instagram page. Yeah, not so long ago. But then, guess what? <gasps> now yeah. there's a video that he's <coughs> saying otherwise. You see, like, that is their family. There are two kids, right? So there are videos, but then those videos, I don't think they're appropriate. The I don't think they'll be appropriate for us to air on TV. Um, I'm so sorry. We can't, we can't show them to you. I don't think they are really appropriate, in, especially for her family. If they are, they're, they're, they're tuned in of her friends or, you know, it might be not okay for us to air that but i know most of you have seen the story so uh, what really actually happened according to the videos that are making rounds on social media is that um so the dj was uh, i think they had some sort of an, an argument so they it gets to a point uh the now uh deceased wife had uh, a cup nalgua anakoroga she was stirring the cup and uh, then she drank it and it's allegedly poison. And then after a while, she started drooling, like, a, you know, drooling from her mouth and all that. And then lying on the sofa, she leaves the sofa, goes to lie somewhere else. And she was in, like, so much pain. Now, DJ Brownskin and I, and I insist, and I'm still Kazi, I let her maziwa. So they bring maziwa, but she, she didn't want to drink milk. So guys are like... You are witnessing this. Why didn't you call an ambulance? Why didn't you help her? Why would you just watch her? I'm to Akunye Sumu in your presence. You watch them until they die and you don't do anything at all to help them. Philin, is there a problem with that? Yeah. He's mean. You're not mean. No. Akunye. Hmm? What do you mean is there a problem with that? Let me okay, tell you. Okay, please, talk to us. Let me tell you. First of all, uh, I don't know what is <laughs> what is happening with that profession of being a DJ. <laughs> the other day is DJ Fax, so they only DJ Brown. I don't know what's happening. But now let's just go back to the story. Um, this is someone who has decided to take her life. She's showing you that... In front of your kids? She's showing you that she's tired of this life and she wants to take it away. Mm. Now, this guy just sat down and decided to record it because he wanted to be exonerated from this case. So that Mutu Wakisema, hey, oh, Megine, when will you go he has an evidence. So I don't see any problem with this. Hmm. But you are being mean to your kids. How are you saying <coughs> that now? Kotoi, you know, for your motherless. The kids I, were there. Yes. And you saw the mom going through the pain in front of the children. The mom went through the pain because she wanted to go through that pain. Mm. If she could not want to go through the pain, she, that oh. poison was the first thing. She, that, that thing should not have triggered her mind to take the poison. Do you have a heart? I do. I, I do for the kids. But she never had a, a heart <laughs> for the kids <laughs> because she decided to Anes. take her own life. Anes, let's yeah. hear it from you. Okay, Mimi, <clears throat> on my own, on my own side now, na ni kama kidogo alikuwa mean. Because kids wako pia, as long as wewe na bibi yako wa muendani, watuwa hiya wajui hiyo. Yes, ni difference zenyu. Watoto wajui mzae na maadhe ya wapatani. So you have to, to think about kids. Watoto wana kutaka wewe na wanataka mama yao at the same time. So ufa ikuwa mean that you spend your day much a day this journey. No, lazima pia ujaribu kumuambia. Kurizo na wajasa zingine maybe see ya eh, yuko kwa mainzi zake ya kikoroga hiyo poison. Lazima umuangeleshe, umuambie kenya tumedu tutasol but please watu hiwa kwa hapa. Mkumbushe. Reason mm. as to why anafakuwa. Angamombe na kufie mbali. <laughs> Ema kama ni kujioja tuwende tuambiwe uli dedi. Lakini si mbele watu. Ijaribu ku, at least umesho concern. No. Hata watu hiwa naone enyewe mzae. Lakini umenyamaza tu. Let me tell you Konza something. Konza unarecord. Honest. We normally talk about what we call a toxic relationship on, on this show. And mm. every time we always say when there is toxicity, kindly just walk out of that marriage. Because you're going to make your kids have the most depressed life ever. How no, will see. you go na una pakuenda? Mademu wengi wana pakuenda. Wakona makuwao. <laughs> Siyate wana mali pakuenda. They can start their own lives. Who knows wakona makuwao? Because I know it's so very painful. The kids are now motherless. This guy is now, uh, wanitonga widow, widow. Widow. Yes. So you see, it's, it's, it's a whole mess of the whole family because of the, of the wife. Whatever decisions she made. Ndiyo kuna mademu wana jitambuwa the like. Wame, wanajua bila mzae mimi si yuko. Wanajua mademu kama hao. So yo dema naona like, unataka niende wapi. No. Already, niko na watu, unataka niende wapi. Let, let me just say something though. Mm. Like, I don't think it's ever too late. No matter how bad it is, you have friends, 
you have family, you have uncles, you have former friends, frenemies. Like I'm really sure someone can house you for like a week, yeah. most for a week, as you figure out your stuff. Mm -hmm. and as you can do something. It is yeah, I don't never... want to pride. Let me tell you something. When it comes, to... I don't think you have pride when it comes to. Wana pride. Wewe unaweza kuwa na pride. Unajua ju eh. Like una na. Au jana una au jana hizi vitu na wana yake. The worst pain anyone can ever uh, go through is when your child ask you, uh, they ask you for something and you cannot be able to give them. Like ataka especially like food, something mm -hmm. as okay. basic as food. Mm -hmm. Nataka food mtu yako na chakula na hauna not because hautaki kumpea like you don't have. And the same way like with parents like, like you right now. Let me tell you. Mzee yako anakuambia chakula alafu hizi kwa able to support. Do you know how awful that feels? Najua ni mbaya but yeah. nakwambia unaona ukitembea huko kwa street mm. utakuta si unajua kuna kuna zile grades za plot. Ka mother flani aongee na ule mother mwingine. Now, then unakuta mtoi wako, mtoi wako ameingia kwa ile hawa amekula na unajua ameenda huko juu kwako kwa kumekauka. Unajua mama atachapa mtoi wake despite the fact that mtoi yeye ndio huko juu kwako kumekauka. Hata mchapa usiendange. Yeye anamfunza tu tabia. Si hiyo ni pride, ni pride juu mtoi alfa. Kukula kwa watu all the time. Ah, si ni pride. Eh, ni pride mtoi ameenda kujiasolia na unampiga. Unafunzwa tabia. But the point is this. Like do not Okay, first of all, like there's 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 happiness in divorce. If you find that it is not working, you can literally just walk out and yeah. have a divorce instead of, you know, ending your own life just because you want to punish someone it's else trauma. who their life goes on. But then also, you as a person, like by the way, if it, like, it's actually true, that is what happened with the DJ Brown skin. You should be ashamed of yourself. That is not okay. It is literally not okay. I love for you are coming to social media to mourn and telling people how you, the gap she left will never be filled. Which gap? You were there when she was taking her life. Why didn't you do anything? At the gap she left, no one can ever replace no, the void. No, feeling. There's heart. a gap. There's a gap. Yeah, there's a gap. Left. I yes. Yeah? Uh, Alice, yeah. why are you coming to social media to say but this? But she died. That gap. He didn't that kill gap. Her. No, no, no. That gap you would have, you would have prevented it from happening. You are right there. If the video is actually what what we are seeing, if it's actually true and that is what happened, then you are in a position to do something about it. Do you know what it. first aid is, Feline? First aid is when someone on that spot. Ana shinda kisema apoe maziwa. Na alipewa. What happened? Alikata. Alipewa. Yeah. There was milk, but she was not drinking she like refused. you, as the grown up, as the person when you call and go. Why didn't Angenda you force her? No, but she refused. Why didn't you call an ambulance? Why didn't you call the neighbors? Why didn't you do anything? We call a gari. Bono ukuchukua gari. Like In fact, DJ Brown, why didn't you take a Uber? DJ Brown did the owners and called the house help. Kama DJ Brown ange taka kusaidia ange ita house help? No, that is the bare minimum. And that, akamu, tena akamu bia, eno lete, milk. That is literally the bare minimum. Ye ni ugangsta ingine. That is the bare minimum. Okay, I know. How are we even doing this right now? You know, no. I'm actually surprised. Are we so, uh, are we so okay with people losing their lives that we are accustomed to it? We don't even see like... Philim, the, the, there's a difference uh, between losing lives and someone wants to take their own life. Yeah, a, but then I think think there is seriousness in that. Do you know it's actually unlawful to even take your own life? Yes, Me it's unlawful. Thank you. I literally you. saw a video the other day. Like they, they tried to, <laughs> to drown themselves. Sorry to say this. In, in our certain river, Uko. do you know what happened? Uh, there's this man who pulled him outside the water. Linda Kamtoa, like he, it was a waterfall. Wakamtoa na kafika. When when they got to a safer place, ata kabla fiki shuko ko on the river bank. Alama mikula pingu. Ali pigu na kila mtu. Like everyone was just there. Like you saw that. I saw it. Everyone was beating it because you you are not allowed. Your life does not belong to you. You literally are property of the state. You belong to the state. You do not belong to yourself. You belong to God. You belong, you know. To whatever I belong to God, you is not the state. I you belong to God, you belong to the state. I was state in a shindo. You are not here. I am a man. I am a man. I am a man. I am a man. That's why I'm too chic. Why? But you are a man. I am 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 a man. I Hold on, hold on to that one. Just you know, let's let's take a breather. We're gonna take a short break. We're coming right back. This stay with us. Don't go too far. Why two five four? Imagine. 
Right, thank you so much for staying with us. If you're just joining us right now, you are watching Chit Chat right here on y 2 TV. We're all about gossip and entertainment stories, making rounds uh, locally and globally as well. The hashtag is Chit Chat. My name is Philin Jean, and that is on all socials as well. And I'm hanging out with Ronald Royce and... Ernest Bantu right here. And just just by the way, before we even went to the break, we were talking about um DJ's brown skins case. And I just forgot who up I even DJ, so I'm just like <laughs> DJ. <laughs> I'm a DJ. 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 Anyway, let's do this. Let's, let's, let's... <laughs> Why are we even laughing about it? This is not a laughing matter. It's serious, by the way. Can you imagine what her family is going through? The kids are literally traumatized for life. Do you know these kids were there and they're going to grow, see these videos, and they'll be told about these stories. Some of them are even, uh, uh, you know, like um, they're, they're old enough to even understand what is going on. And they have to grow, grow up with that kind of trauma. It's not funny. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. It's not funny. Uh, when, when we do these things as parents, let's have our kids in mind. Be very considering of your children because it, this is you want to punish this person, but can you imagine what your children are going to go through? How are they going to grow up? You okay, know? let me ask you, Philin, who was punishing anyway. the other here? What? Who was punishing the other? I'm just saying, I don't know what the argument was all about, mm -hmm. but probably for her to get to a point where, like, she wants to take her own life in front of him, mm -hmm. she probably thought by doing that, she's going to punish him. And it's not right. It's not true. You're punishing your family. You're punishing yourself. You're punishing your children more than him. But anyway, we move. let's move on to another story. We have a lot of stories to get through uh, before time. Now, there's an, a video of an elderly woman protesting against the high cost of living in Kibra that has gone <coughs> viral. The heartwarming clip showed the woman wearing a cooking pot on her head, carrying a cooking stick and a whistle as she walked with the aid of a rod. The woman marched from one location to another, lamenting about hunger. Her act of defiance drew laughter from many people. We have a video. <laughs> no, I know it is sad. It is sad. Like we we are supposed to literally be, you know, thinking about what she's doing. But then at the same time, it is so funny also. So na bumbina tu mkuu apa wana umewa wili wenye misuli na mkona kazi. Ame zitu ba yunga tu mpeleke ushosh. No, we can, we can. That one I can. I we can. can actually do that, yes, right? Yes, we can do that. We can start something. But this kamtu na mzua la for mtu DM tu. Okay, mkuu DM wa chifai for. So DM nani? DM, okay. DM, mm. okay. Hata mimi mni DM. Dubai or lie. Yeah, so I asked Mr. Pai Village to give you to make sure. See, yeah, how much is one band? We can buy her one band. Yeah, one band. Okay, right. what you can Hata do. Hata mimi DM. Yeah. I'll do it. Feeling maybe we can also start maybe a pay bill or a buy goods number something. Right. And then see if at all we can. We can literally just yeah, do something for her. For her. And, and many of you guys can chip in, whoever wants to. And then we, we, we can just go and see her. Because mm. she, she made my day. But, but I also feel old people should not have, th like they shouldn't have to go through this. Mm -hmm. They should not have to feel the pinch of whatever is happening. Mm. Because, okay, unajua most times, what you tafuta, by that age, you go to stable, like you're living a good life, you have, you have your own house, your own home. Like, you know, mm. you're just living life, enjoying the sunsets and just looking after your animals and stuff. You shouldn't have to be out here on the streets talking about like the, you know, tough economic times. But that's just my take though. I don't know what okay. you guys are thinking. <coughs> Feeling. Mm -hmm. Let me just come in. Um, I think you guys have experienced the past two weeks how 
there are things have been going outside there. Mm. And then I'm just trying to look at it from another perspective whereby I'm very abode, the way you said, misuli, mm. nini, and all these. Mm. Just imagine me mwenye ndo ntandamana ju the high cost of living. So mimi kama nandamana ju a high cost of li living. Look at my grandma. She cannot, yeah. like, literally wake up and go and do, yeah. look for some job and do for her. She I depends on me. Do you know, there's a, there's a, there's a, I remember, like, um, when I, I usually tell people this every single day. Like, when I go with my first job, Ron is the one who trained me, right? Mm. And that job, when I got my first job, when I got there, there was this woman who came to the room to look at the Pamoja. She had her degree, her two degrees and a master's. No job, you got job to yourselves. And she came there and... Uh, they, she didn't get the job. But me, I was green. Then my talk she will I have nothing, I no experience at all. <laughs> and I, I got the job. I then my talk she bro. But it gets to a point where age is also a hindrance to yeah. you. Yes. When I'm age flying at after Kazi, a lot of people are like, oh, all these years, what have you been doing? Mm -hmm. You know, like mm -hmm. after Kazi size. <coughs> so I think kuna two point ikifika, it's it's not just about the uh, uh, the available slots, the employment. It's also about the age gap. Yeah. But then again, oh, before um, Anders comes in, huh? I'm also trying to look at it from a uh, perspective also. Where are the grandchildren, the children of her? They were probably on the streets also oh, doing the same thing. Do Nikibra. Of what? <laughs> Nikibra and everybody is, I don't know if you've been in Kibra by the way. Yes, Kibra, I, 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 I go to Kibra like a lot, like a lot of times. Like I pass through Kibra most of the time. And like, it's not like a tea, when it's a tea, what tea, it's just the living conditions that are not okay. But they work hard. Yeah, they literally work hard for their money and for their cash. No, it's just a perception people have about how people have about how people have paint. Like, oh, Kibran. Okay, except time you have man, obviously. Who can you say? Except time you have man. But on a normal day, we go there. Sometimes... Anyway, ten, let me not say too much, but uh, I got to keep brow uh, plenty of times. Honest. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Ni mm -hmm. ni mm -hmm. ni mama tu manzi. Na mama kawe manzi akianza ku kulia hivyo na pain ni uchungu. Bana jo hizi mageto ma zinakonga zime paint wa mbaya juu ni asira. Watu wa ghetto wanaishi na tuna asira. Ajo eh hawa tu wengine waelewi ile uchungu inakuanga kwa street. Unakaa hivi unasikia prezo anaweza mka aseme tumepandisha mafuta na hiyo story yeah. amemaliza. But unajua yeye amesema na akamaliza. But ule mso huko chini ya juu hiyo mafuta itaaffect aje. Ule yeah. jamaa. So hawa jamaa chini wanakuanga tu na hiyo grudge mpaka imemeke. Sasa kuna gap between wasee wako na do wanachukiwa yeah. tu. Unaona Prado ikiingia ghetto lazima wasee washinde huyu amekuja kudu. Amekuja eh, unless wewe ni msee wa ghetto umenunua Prado. Lakini yeah. Prado ikiingia tu ghetto lazima utase. No unajua mpaka wameka ile enemy between the rich and, and the poor, poor. wenyewe yeah. wanaweka juu ya yeah. venye wanatufanyia unaona so sometimes pia wana consider na siku za elections huko ndo wanaomba kura mm. jaona election wanaenda kare ni kuomba kura nini sa election wanaingia kibira kwa hiyo huko ndo kuna kura eh, mabombea hata ukienda kura kwa hizo kura zenye place mnaomba kura pia wase mabombea so, mabombea unless how ndo wanataka muwapigie kura i don't even think they vote most of them don't they yeah. don't vote and, and then again you know where the population is where is where the, the votes are Sasa tangu ni hawa watu wakikufa njaa watapigaje kura? Ni kitu suru tena ku campaign aje. Who are you going to campaign to? You just have Kila mtoko na get yake amefunga kwa kutengia. Kwanza Karen ninapiga kelele. Zote zimeandikwa kwa get no hooting. Wacha na no hooting. Zinaandikwa hivyo kwa get. Unaenda ku campaign aje Karen. Na campaign aje. Ndona. Sasa at the end of the day, we are looking at it also in this manner because it reaches a point when the poor when they will have nothing to eat, they will eat the rich. It's actually a saying. People say that. It's not a saying. Even but, your kuko. You call it like the poor Even your ones. Even your the rich. But let me tell you something. Like right now, I mean, I keep telling you people, and it's something that I also want to venture in. Let's go back to farming. That is where the real money is. Like for real. Let's go back to farming. Let's go back to farming. You have people do that. Thank you, Philin. Like, like farming is yes. where money is. Like, kuna, and literally, people will have to eat. 
Mm. Honestly, I'm not even lying. Mm. Like me, I was literally just sitting the other day and I was thinking. So, what if we get to a generation kill to say inequality change creator? Not that there's a problem with that because there's also, at some point kill them to create employment yake. Do they know hakuna watu wengi wenye wanaandika na kazi. So, you can create content and do that. But then we are having very limited slots of people that are venturing into farming. So, we get to a point where everyone has money and there's one who's supplying food. Mm -hmm. You can eat money. But but I was equal under. Yeah, on me, pia farmers wanalia. You think so? Yeah, yeah the inputs. Yeah, no, like farm inputs, farm fertilizers, fertilizers, pesticides. Let me tell you <laughs> something. <laughs> what I'm going to be a story of fertilizer. Mimi, I remember a while back, my grandma used to take like anything we collect from the house as trash. Takataka mkifagia, mkifanya nini, like ngombe, everything. is like remains the ngombe and stuff. You put them in a compost pit and we used to use that as manure. And we were introduced to these fertilizers which we have right now, which which is good, it's convenient. But then at the same time, I was literally watching this documentary about the Chinese people, and they have dropped these fertilizers now. They are going back to the compost, uh, compost uh, farming. That's what they, 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 that's the manure they are using right now because they know that is the organic, that is super organic. Now I want I want to is let using magonjos in Guinea. Do you know when I cut what they literally when I cut a nyasi when I cut a mimea when I cut zile maskuma mkichonga ni nini when I took a compost with your the araka that's what they use in farming now. Yeah. That's a sit na kimbia <laughs> uko mm. how now they are going back. Even if you see a lot of documentaries, even like uh, the cookings and stuff, is the oh, people who travel right now they are going back to cooking <laughs> zile the stones. Kila mtu anataka kupika the native way. Mm. Vile sisi tulikuwa tunapika. Na sasa kila mtu kwetu, kila mtu anataka kutumia air fryer, kila mtu ako na gas, kila mtu anataka ku bake au anaacha na kuingia. Kwanza ni hizo nini unaongelea Felin? Air fryer. Air fryer. Air fryer. I think it's the most misused thing ever. What is like, it? What is yeah. it, Kwanza? Can you comp me? All of you who say manure, you go and ask the See, Anes, you are saying manure, see manure. Okay, to tell you a story. Any me, I thought you were back up. You say my air fryer is the most misused. What is the air fryer? How did you air fryer? Yeah, I don't know what is an air fryer. I want you to comp me. It's a new one. It's a new one. We move. We move. See, you rice cooker. Rice cooker. I remember so I have to ingia ghetto ni kukuta na stove na kudis ato uko na gas cooker zile mazao mawe tatu na hiyo kisufuria kikubwa sasa anyo uko uko na mawe tatu kwa sababu sababu hata wazungu uko ndo wanarudi kila mtu anarudi kupika na mawe because they know that is the best way now like everyone is just going back in fact kuna kitu mimi niko na ile stove ya mzaile na je ile tulikuwa nafanya mafuta ya panda juu ndio weke kibiriti that is what I use. And then there's also another thing. But I don't I will not recommend anyone to buy that. Rono jatumia hii. Ah hiyo kitu ndio sio tulianza na maisha. Mafuta ipande juu. Kwa bed seat kwa ndio tulianza na nini wewe? Unajua kwanza ukipiga kwanza hiyo inakonga ni kama gear gas. My auntie at some point owned that. Dog like a kitambo like when we were young. Feeling. My auntie owned that. Kuna hii stove yenye inatumianga mnaitanga utambi ama kitambi. Mm. Yo stove unajuanga inazimwa na maji. Simply na ukizima kwa nyumba na uko kwa bed sitter. Unaenuka. Inakaa ni kama uko kwa sauna. Unaambua congratulations you have won yourself a better perfume. Utanuka mafuta. Ngoza sasa nanuka hivyo. Alafu na juu. Let's move let's move on to another story. We don't have time. Now there's a woman who has gained um, the internet fame for marrying three men. Now there's Jimmy, Dan and her son. After losing her husband in a car accident, she began a relationship relationship with her brother-in-law Hassan and eventually uh, eventually rather married him later she met with Dan and Jimmy the three men all live together with with their woman and they are happy and live harmoniously in this relationship you know we cannot even make these stories up we have <laughs> we have a video courtesy of Afrimax let's have a look she is a mother of two children has three husbands and There is nothing special about a man marrying many women, but the reverse polyandry is unheard of in the mainly patriarchal society. However, things are beginning to change with stories of women with multiple husbands emerging. This woman has become famous in this area. She is a mother of two children, has three husbands, and all live in the same house. <laughs> 
My name is Nelly. I work as a car dealer. I get them from Dubai and sell them in my country. I had a husband with whom we were together for eight years who was in a car accident and died after we had two children. I was single before I lived with her. I had just finished my studies and couldn't find a job. Then I met her. She gave me strength and she showed me that life goes on and that I could live well again. Since then, I started to love her. She also loved me, so she brought me home. And finally, she told me that this was her house. She told me the truth, that she has two other men. For a moment, it scared me that it might cause chaos and war in her home. But these men came and welcomed me, and we started living like that from that time to this day. Okay, me and Jimmy. My name is Jimmy, and I am Nelly's husband. It wasn't easy at first. I remember the first time we met. I had much stress caused by love. She found me where I was sitting alone and asked me to talk, so we started talking and sharing a drink. I told her all my problems, and she told me about her life. That day, we went our different ways, but we continued to be friends. Later, I managed to accept her in my life and her history, and she accepted me in her life and my history. Gina Baranita Hassan. My name is Hassan, and I am Nelly's husband. After my elder brother died, I remained here to look after the children he had with Nelly because she did not have time to take care of the children. She was always working. So then, as I continued to live here, she loved me. I loved her. So we decided to live as husband and wife. After that, she brought other men. So we all live here without any problems and love each other. In this house, the woman is the one who takes care of her men because she is the one who has a permanent job. There is nothing special about it. Let me, let me, I'm telling you something. That can never be me. It is already hard enough dealing with one man. Oh, no, get Patricia ni nani, Janet ni nani, Sasa ni watatu. Uyo mama mali yako apewe mbini. Honest. Apewe mbini. So now you have to worry about talking. There is now joy involved. There is now Sujui Naini involved. There's all these women. Ni pesi miyako, ni pesi miyako. You will go mad. Like how? These are the three wise men. And they came from the east. But anyway, let's look at it this way. See, men are polygamers. Always, they 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 marry like many wives and people mostly. They don't have a problem with that. So why are we having a problem with a polyandrous woman? We have a problem. Tell me, talk to me. How do you start and where do you start from? Because that is the problem. Utaanzaje as a as a man to share one woman? Okay, kuna a difference between cheating and sharing. Watch and let me just call you kidogo. No, but the thing is, she, they clarified one thing. They are never in one room at the same time. Which, like, it's kila mtu na time yake. Like, every, every uh, kila mtu na time yake filin. Yeah, like, no. I create time for, for Ernest. I create time for Ron. I, I create time for <laughs> Jax for me, here. Like that. Like, it's never at one point that Jax na Ronald na... At the same time. Na, yeah, but Bantu the in problem. one Filin, room. With, psychologically yeah. speaking, yeah. you just know always how um, the men's mind. Once tu unajua umesha kuwa triggered, it's time for this, it's going to be time for that. Ata kama kuna mutu juwa machini, you are going to get into this. Nah. Okay. Ingekua ifo, atu ingekua na law. <laughs> That's uh, why uh, we no, have no, a no. law in place. Yeah, no. What do you mean? They are Sasa sharing... Sasa ayu kianza hapa onea, alafu sotu kazio. Wana tunanga. They are sharing a house. They are sharing a house. Like any, so, so, me, 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 me on my side, Vile Naona, mm -hmm. I'm a boy, they are not working. Mm -hmm. No, no, wame, wame olewa. No, no, wame ekwa. Then to me, Jine Amuta, wame ekwa. Ni maisha ni mwapige waka ekwa. Na, so, 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 moja, moja anaka hivya nagundua, fili, nitoke huko inje, niende ni safe. Niende ni umia, kuna kazi ya kuna nini. Kwa mama anawapea kila kitu. Anawaprovidea, kazi yao ni kuka, na kumeka hapi. Unataka kusema kuna isu? There's no issue. But moja, moja kiyomoka. Yata chanuka. Unajia mbua kiyomoka. Kwa nemo na kuangana isu hivyo. Mimi ni olewa kabibu wa pili yama watatu. Na sezo unapatea. Like maybe their husband is like a millionaire. Kila mtuwa kwa na hawa yake. And I provide. But then it's still a problem. Filin, just a question. Filin, just a question. Who is the head of that house? She is. 
She's the head. That's what I want to know. If the cost of living is high, these guys are also high. Wako hasla. Wako hasla. At wako high. Yeah, wako high. Gamma, the cost of living. Anyway, we don't have time. Let's move on to another story. But, you know, best of luck. But it's so, it's unreligious. It's an, 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 an. Well, not and good, but <laughs> uh, like you know, society. You know, most societies are patri patriarchal, so they can't accept that. And it's just ha how we are wired to see things in that manner. No, that's why it's not like something people are, are actually receiving so well. But if you guys are happy to eat them, come in a do it. Do it. Right, let's talk about Akothe. You guys brought up Akothe earlier on. Let's talk to me about her. Now, Kenyan singer and businesswoman Akothe is set to wed her fiance, uh, Shwaiza Omosh, on April 10th, which is also her birthday. Now, Akothe purchased her wedding gown in Europe for approximately 700000 and even paid for an extra plane ticket for the gown to be flown in business class. Mm -hmm. Now, Akothe dismissed rumors that her wedding is her wedding is fake, stating that she does not need to chase cloud for money as she already made it. Now, she has also responded to haters uh, who questioned why her fiancé did not buy her a gown, saying he paid for everything else uh, in regards to the wedding. Let's have a look at the video. So this is love Madam Boss. Eh, eh. Oh, me, I'm happy for you, by the way. Congratulations. We say, you must get, get married when you are CG. What? If it doesn't work out, it doesn't work out. Get married again. Was you were 90 again. So, maybe, maybe the third time is a charm. Maybe this time around, everything is going to work out and it's going to be forever. So, you and Omosh, congratulations. From me to you, congratulations. I congratulations. But, congratulations, right? I was watching and there's this chick who was like, um, I've been poor and I've been rich. And she was like, trust me, rich is better. <laughs> <laughs> rich is better. Rich is better. No, one no one wants to be poor. No one wants to be poor. No one wants to be poor. The rich cry. They do have their moments. Not okay to poor, but they cry. cry. <laughs> no, you're right, you're right. Anyway, <sighs> all right, now let's move on to... Wow, this is a very sad story, though. Now, Pony University has been closed following the tragic loss of 14 students who died in a road accident um, on the Nairobi Naivasha Highway. The university has declared a period of mourning in honor of the deceased. And of course, our deepest sympathies go out to families and friends of the 14 students who lost their lives in the tragic accidents. May, in their tragic accident, rather, may, they, may their soul rest in peace. <clears throat> Can you talk about this? This is. Did you guys see the CCTV video? Yeah. Not even the yeah. CCTV. There was also the, there was I a know, dash cam video. I know. Yeah. Mm. Oh, they had a dash cam. No, for the the where, where oh, the, the, the car. Yeah. Oh, I thought that. that oh. Man, this is so sad. Like I saw this, and it mm. just it broke my heart. Because first of all, these people are so young. This very. Is, they're very young. They don't deserve mm. like. <laughs> The anyway. youths of tomorrow. Anyway, may yeah. they rest in peace. No, I don't will. know what you guys have to say about that because we, unfortunately, we are also out of time. We have to go. Okay.
Uh, I think, Philin, mm. uh, the other day, the university itself, the, uh, the students who remain behind were rioting because uh, against the administration, they were asking the administration why did they let out the, a bus that was faulty? Because it happened that it lost brakes uh, when it was in Navasha, especially when it was now like in um, the That's when it lost the brakes. And then it had to hit a stationary Matatu, whereby some key students lost lives and also some passengers lost lives. We, from Y254, from the deepest point of our heart, we say uh, our condolences and may they RIP. Yeah. Right, honest. We need to be careful before talking a gari and a gari kai kopoa. Kwanza gari. Well, you gari ni kwampia na ilikuwa imetoka service. I don't think so. Sikuli. It was. Well, the, the, the Pony University, I think that's the VC. They said like um, the, the, the bus is new, very new, and ilikuwa imefanywa, ilikuwa imetoloa service just before they, they, they then, left. Then the drivers, then they need to be careful because for me, the Brakes ndo zilikatika. Mm. Yeah, nunazama driver pia kwa careful. You never know, unajua watu wanasema anga venye kulikuwa, but you yeah. never know what happened. Yeah. Nasema kwa wenye utumebaki to stake kosho, nazili tuangalie tuone, venye yeah. kutakuwa. To see poteze more lives, it's very sad. Poteza yeah. watu, wachanga kama hao. The I graduates know. of Kesho maze, tunakosa leaders of tomorrow because of such things. Lakini they are soul. May, they, may their souls rest in peace. Yeah. And of course, uh, I want to send uh, shout outs to everybody that tuned in. I'll, I'll send some, you know, I'll shout out just maybe two or three people. But, so I'm just receiving news that my Damano has been called off. So yeah. there's no mind I'm not tomorrow. Uh, High cost of living. Kwale watu ambao walikuwa wana plan kesho, you know. Kesho uh, ni 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 kwa street mimi kesho. Hakuna hakuna uh, um, you know, opposition leader from a prime minister Raila Odinga has called off the protests. So kwale ambao walikuwa wanajitayarisha kesho kwenda kufanya. Na mawazo zimeenda to to with. Do not. Kwa sababu za kwa 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 <laughs> okay, let me just mention names because of time. I have uh, Eli, uh, Alinda, Eli, Eli, Eliza, Eliza and Jerry Moises, good to see you. Wandoasi, Nazarite Jr. I have Cabrayo, Kamaina. I have Taiga, Taiga D, Asu, Femans Mbone, Malik Maina. Kilin Sisi, Tunawakilisha Vizuri, Apo, Nabantu, Ngong, 111. Yeah? Good Ibra, good to see you. Kaibs and Champion, Eman James. I have Dennis Karyuki, Mato, Michael, Wanyo. Elvis Karani, good to see you. Headmaster Mrege, I have Bad Culture. Albim Katoliki, good to see you, of course. We appreciate that too much. You have any shout outs? Just two, one as we go. Ten seconds each. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, as usual, what wangu mna jijua. Caleb Maliuko, Zadi Maliuko, uh, Biki Spice. Hi! Where, wherever you are. And then Masiketa, we have Machange, we have Brio, all these other guys. Maze, always keep it locked. Chalo, na waifiake, your guys are awesome. See you next time. That's what's up. Honest. Ya yeah, mabogi msalimike Mr. Waziri salimika mahali huko bana kuna dem flani ya kwa jina gumwa inarudia Kripina salimika jo mahali Andwa Kripina yeah, Bale kuna msali alikuwa anangoja show hata kabla I have to shout them out yeah, They were literally waiting for the show hata liniambia aliniambia Andwa Teddy Teddy Mjanki Teddy Mjanki shout out to you thank you yeah, so much Yeah yeah Teddy Mjanki na hapo ni Mjanki anapenda junk food anakula na junk food <laughs> anyway, hey, before, we go, before we go, go, shout out to Jex, shout out to Hillary, of course. <laughs> I want to shout out uh, Maurice, I want to shout out uh, Yvonne, Rose, uh, everyone, Hillary, everyone that made the show possible. We'll see you again next week. But before we go, it is HRH, the queen herself. It's her birthday week. And uh, it's funny, like, it's like, it's like, it's happy birthday. Okay. Come on, she's in studio. Shout out to you, HRH. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Janet. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday.
Happy birthday, Janet! <laughs> Yay!